Hey guys, Ellie here. Today, I have a really exciting video for y'all. So we have five new additions to the sanctuary. There was a nice lady that my dad came in contact with. She came out earlier today and brought us five fainting goats. Can y'all believe that? Have y'all ever heard of fainting goats? I'm sure most of you have, but if you haven't, the fainting goat is actually a really awesome type of goat that is known for fainting. If it gets excited or startled, it'll kind of just like basically fall over like that and freeze up for five to 10 seconds. And we have five of those now. We talk more about fainting goat facts and just kind of about these guys' backstory later in the video. But basically to summarize it, the lady, it was really sad actually. She wasn't able to keep them anymore. And so she had to rehome them. And she already had watched the video. She knows about my dad and the sanctuary and everything. So she felt at ease knowing that they'd be coming to a good home here at the I'm a Survivor Sanctuary. And so we're really blessed that she trusted in us and uh, she was really nice when we met her. So Amanda, thank you. We appreciate you. And you know, without further ado, guys, hope y'all enjoy the video. So Amanda just said that she would normally be excited to meet us, but today mm -hmm. she's not. Why? Oh, because I'm giving you my babies. She's giving us her babies. I know. You're sad. You know yeah. how it is. You just raised one on a bottle. Yeah, I know. No, I get it. Is. Yeah, he's right here. He's, he's literally right here. His son, which oh. is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> but if I had to be a granddad, I'd rather be a granddad to him than a granddad to a baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, I... Put, oh uh, raised goodness. all of these on a bottle. Okay, really? I can name yeah. them without you telling me. Man, I can't. Okay, well, I know this little guy over here. That's Gus Gus. Yes. Uh, this is the little buck. His name is Gus Gus. And he is a handsome little devil. Yes, you are. You're a handsome little devil. Mm. And don't put you're a handsome little guy. Okay. He looks now, just like pickles at Pawpaw's house. Right? Now, wait. Out. Now, they do have a pickle. Yeah, that's ironic. Can we call pickles picky? Whatever you want to. Yeah. Picky. I thought either dilly, like yeah. dill pickle. But I don't want to change the name, but we already have a Pickles. I know. Who spends time with our goats. I don't want to say, come here, Pickles, and all of a sudden two goats are like, woo, mayor. You know. So I My husband loves Pickles, and he was like, he named her. So, oh, no. that's yeah. And he didn't come with you. No, he's working on the corral today. Okay, okay. So, uh, the little the white one here is Guetta. Yes. Guetta. So that's a Spanish name, Ellie. You probably know that name because you've been called that your whole life. Like white, white, white girl, yeah. isn't that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so Ellie's mom is Spanish, is Mexican, uh, yeah. Spanish, and yeah. so uh, they've always called Ellie Guero, yeah. like you know, for Guero for white, white, white complexion. Yeah. And so, uh, so I bet your husband named her. Didn't yes. He? <laughs> so Guero, uh, that'll be funny. Okay, now I know there's one you have a special bond with. Yeah. Uh, is this over here Bambi? That's the one, Bambi. Bambi's the one laying down with the little spots. Like like Bambi from the movie. Yes. Bambi. Okay, now please don't tell me, because I know we have two left. Is there one in the back seat? No, she's on the side, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Sure. And I, so I bet the one you have in the back seat is Lulu, because that's your favorite. Yes. Now, you can't have favorites. You know that. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. You get to ride in the front with Mama. <laughs> what a privilege. Lulu to. gets to ride in the front with Mama. That's no fair. So that's yeah. Lulu. Yes. Okay, so that means the last one, who actually is, I think, the prettiest one. Uh, what is your name, beautiful? Ellie, look at her eyes. Who are those, Hero? Ellie, look at her uh, eyes. Oh, my they're, God. They're, those, are are like, picky. Adorable. those are like Tilly's eyes. That has to be picky. You have to be the picky one, honey. You're the picky. You're the picky one. <laughs> Wait, You're so gorgeous. If, if Gus Gus is the only boy, that means Pickles is a girl. So uh -huh. D D Dilly kind of is a good name for a girl, I yeah, think. Yeah, but Dilly's a whole other name besides picky. It's kind of like D still picky. What about, what about Dill Pickle? You know, all I hear is wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs> We think that these names are such a huge thing, but... Yeah, all of them have like the blue marbled eyes except for Bambi. Oh, they're so. gorgeous. Who has the most personality of these five? You the already group? know it's gonna be that Gus Gus right there because of those things hanging between his legs. Gonna oh, yeah. Give him all kinds of personality. <laughs> but Is Bambi it... can be called Bam Bam sometimes because she oh. likes to be pushing around. Oh, okay. So, we've, had, we've had a Bam Bam before I, I too. I think Lulu has the best. Why are you so attached to Lulu? What makes it. She was just very small when I got her and uh -huh. so she would oh, lean her head baby, on me baby. and come yeah. here sweetie oh my goodness can I love you can you get your little mangy butt back hello she is not really mangy she just has skin issues <laughs> and she's not ours that belongs to my sister Kim who uh, by the way we are all family every, every house you see is family. I'm very aware so I work from home okay and I don't talk on the phone or anything I literally type all day 
So Which means I, you watch videos all day. So it means I watch videos. So I, I hope follow your boss isn't everybody. watching this. No. So I watch everybody. So I like know that everybody lives on the hill and everything. Well, that sister Kim's little, I call it a little mangy mutt. But she's not a mangy mutt. Kim loves her. and But the, here's the problem. Kim loves her, but she loves L.E. <laughs> so everywhere he goes, Chia follows, and she has it. She was just a little puppy. Yeah. And so she thinks she lives here, and she doesn't. And I'm like, L.E., that dog, huh? <laughs> but look here over here. Hi, Lulu. What do you think, sweetie? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. These are some strange smells around here. She wagging her tail? And the smells. Yes, she is. I don't know all these smells. I don't know these. Come here. Oh, I love her. You're yes. the cutest thing. She you're the sweet. cutest thing. <laughs> Baby, you're going to love it here. You are going to love it here. Her and Pickles or whatever y'all. Picky? You can call her Pickles. We ain't gonna make you change. No. Pickles. They are bonded like together. Uh oh. Like a uh oh. Uh oh. That's a good little, I guess, taste of what's to come. Hero's a good warm up, if you will. Like wherever she is, yeah. usually Pickles. Oh. So. Well, let's let them out. Maybe, can... maybe these two can be the front yard crew and those can be the pasture goats. <laughs> no. Well, no. If... All stay together. Well, if Lulu. All wrapped up, well, if Lulu has a special spot in her heart and Lulu gets a little bit of different treatment. Why can't she be like Hero? A little bit. Yeah. So Sorry. I use this for my Nubians if I'm transporting them. And one time the thing came open. Oh. And so that's why I had to kind of start wrapping I don't it up. Blame you. <laughs> Hi babies. Y'all want to come out? Come on. You've been in there for a long ride. Come on out and play. I'll, I'll, help, I'll help you down. Come on. Hi, sweetie. Oh, gosh. What happens when hey. Gus Gus meets Ringo? Hi, my friend. Ringo's not going to be a problem because he's been neutered yeah. a long time ago. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Don't mm. faint on yeah, me. Yeah, Ring, Ringo's old, but he still thinks he's in don't charge. Where are you going? I don't know. I'll be so sad. Where are you going, Lulu? So Lulu. Don't you faint on me because I'll make you feel so sad. Aunt Lou would be flattered. Sweetie. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. No, here comes Ringo. Oh, I told you this. Oh, my goodness. He's so crazy. All right. What have y'all brought me? Oh, Ringo thinks it's for him. I suppose he can share, but I don't know about all that. Ringo could care less. He just wants to eat. <laughs> He's hungry. He's like, hey, Ringo. Yeah, Ringo just wants to eat. He cares less about the new, the new coats. That's very comforting for us as far as protection. It means if there's ever somebody in here that shouldn't be, Ringo's just going to go for the food and let them do whatever they want. Goodness. They're so tiny. Dad, look behind you. Look who's curious. Oh, boy. Hey, sweetie, you're not coming in. That's Senorita, our new horse. Have you heard her? She's like, who's that? I want to meet him. She's mean to me. She's better with the ladies. Huh? It's just you. It's just me. She's just young. Just like, when they're young, they're always a little honoring. Well, just this morning, I'm loving on her. All she goes, and what does that tell you? She wants to, yeah. Yeah, back up and kick me. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> guys, are y'all hearing this, guys? These fainting goats, like, are crazy desperate for attention. I was just in there with them. Every time I walk out, they start screaming like crazy. Bang! Y'all notice how they have a higher pitched, almost like a squeak that they make. Especially that one, Lulu. She has the craziest one. Bambi's is pretty high pitched. Listen to hers, though. Lulu! Come on, Lulu. Just do it once for me. Oh, y'all heard it. Lulu! <laughs> they, it, it sounds different. Y'all know what I mean? Like most goats are kind of like... But they're kind of like... I'm pretty good at impressions or imitations, so that's kind of what it sounds like to me. But no, guys, a fun fact about these goats, these fainting goats, man, it's kind of unnerving. When I first heard it, it kind of, I don't even know how I felt about it, but basically my dad and I were talking and it turns out that this type of goat was actually intentionally bred to be that way during the 17 or the 1800s. They were bred to have, they have like a neurological defect and so they were bred intentionally because back then farmers oftentimes they would have big old herds of sheep and the sheep were really really valuable far more valuable than a goat was and so the plan they had was to put a bunch of fainting goats in their flock of sheep so that in case there was ever a predator or anything dangerous the goats would faint because y'all know that number one they'll either faint if they're excited or number two they'll faint if they get scared or frightened by something so a predator coming in would frighten them and make them faint 
and then the predators would kill them and eat them and the sheep would have time to get away isn't that horrible isn't that like so barbaric i'm thankful that i didn't have to live during that time period because i don't know how i could do that in good consciousness like i i really i don't know how i could I, don't, I wouldn't be able to do that i don't think you know what i mean i get that they had to because the sheep were a source of you know i guess they were basically currency back then food possibly i get that they were more necessary to survive they didn't have grocery stores like they do nowadays during that time but that's just like it's just that's just unnerving hearing that and i promise you guys that's not going to be what they're meant for here we do not have them so that a predator will break in and then they'll faint and the predator will eat them instead of tilly or instead of annie that is not our intention here we definitely want to take as much care of them as humanly possible but with that said the fact that they do faint means that they do need a little bit of extra care that the other goats don't need because they would be a little more vulnerable if there were ever a predator than tilly would or than annie or pig trudy would so i um my dad helped me install i don't even know where he put them and i'll go look around in a second okay i changed my mind i'm going to show you right now what it is that my dad set up so those right there are the solar like alarms basically and what happens is if a predator walks near it it plays like a really like i guess uncomfortable frequency a little bit of a sound that is like traumatizing for the animal and will make them run away and hopefully not come back they say you got to change the frequency every few days because if the animal does come back it will eventually get used to the noise it'll get desensitized to it the noise won't bother them anymore so you got to always be changing the frequency so that there's a noise that'll always be bothering them so they hopefully don't come back and it's a good idea these fainting goats they'll need extra protection because if there ever were a predator then they'd probably faint and they'd be toast and we do not want that to happen we want to like protect them with our lives basically so that right there is a good idea i see one right there he set up and then there's another one right there let me walk over to that one just to give y'all a quick demonstration of oh y'all hear it i hear the frequency Sorry if there's any dogs watching. If you watch with your dogs, uh, oh gosh, I'm sure people's dogs that are watching the video with them are freaking out right now. I'm so sorry. I apologize dearly. But y'all heard it right there. I think y'all heard the noise, right? Y'all heard the... Let me walk closer to it one more time. One more time. Come on, do it. All right. All dogs watching, Close your, shut your ears for a second. I'm gonna walk over to this next one just to kind of see how it sounds. Here we go. Yep, there it is. Well, that's basically it, guys. That's the noise that it makes. Um, obviously, we'll be watching like hawks, making sure the fainting goats are happy and they're safe. It is not like they'll faint at anything, guys. Like they don't like they don't just. They hear a rock fall from a tree or a branch fall and they pass out. It's nothing like that. That's kind of what I expected when they first came. But uh, Amanda, the lady who brought them to us, she kind of explained that it takes something a little bit significant for them to faint. And just won't, they won't just do it for nothing. You know what I mean? And so we'll see. They're, um, they're great additions. I'm very excited to have more funny videos of them. I wish they could have fainted a little bit more or done more funny stuff in this video. Let, I need to actually explain that. Guys, the fainting that they do, I don't want y'all to think that we're like cruel or terrible people because it's funny when they faint. Like, don't equate it to when a human faints. When a human faints, they um, obviously are unconscious. It's like they're going to sleep and sometimes it can be dangerous. So like, it is a little bit different than that. But these goats, when they faint, they don't lose consciousness. They just kind of, they go stiff. That's how Amanda described it. I kind of picture it as temporarily paralyzed and like paralyzed for five, for five seconds or 10 seconds or something like that. And a way you can kind of think of it is that picture a little kid on stage, like doing a performance or something. Picture a kid that gets nervous because he sees like a thousand people in the audience staring right at him and he kind of gets stage fright. He gets scared and like freezes up. He forgets his lines and he pees his pants or whatever. It's kind of funny a little bit, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like not, it's a little bit funny, a little funnier than somebody passing out. So I equate it more to like stage fright. And so 
yeah, the stage fright is kind of, I guess, a little, little bit funny to see, but I didn't capture any of that in this first video. I apologize for that. I guess it's also the heat of the day, so they're about to go huddle up in the shade. And I'm excited to get this video out for y'all so you can see them right away, be introduced as quickly as possible. And I'm kind of excited to see y'all's first impressions of um, of the babies. But, um, sorry, I am. Um, anyways, be on the lookout for videos over the next few days of funny moments with them. I'm sure they'll be doing a ton of funny stuff in the next few days. And we'll have videos of it so with that said i hope y'all enjoyed y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you guys want to see hope you all have an incredibly blessed day and as i always say your boy ellie out